WhatsApp, I'm going to show you is security. So what about Jenkins security? How to work with Jenkins security? That is what I'm going to show you now. So let's see how to configure security in Jenkins. So by default team yesterday, we created one user called admin. You can create many users as well. So go to manage Jenkins. Under manage Jenkins somewhere you will have security field there. You see manage users. I'm clicking on manage users. There is only one user called admin. I'm creating another user. I'm creating another user user one. Password is also user one I'm giving. Create user. Yes, user one is created successfully. I'm creating another user team. User two. User two. So I created user one, user two successfully. Now can these guys log in into Jenkins or not? Let's test. I'm testing with user one. Username and password I gave. See, user one able to log in into the Jenkins. So tell me, team, one thing. Do you allow everybody to log into Jenkins and have complete admin privileges? What do you think? <laughs> At enterprise level, do we allow everybody to log into Jenkins and see all the features directly? Is that suggested? No, right? So team there are two things when we think of security one is called authentication second one is called as authorization Authentication is always about whether you are a correct user or not whether your username and password are correct or not Once that is done once your credentials are correct then authorization comes into the picture Authorization always tells you what you are allowed to do What you are allowed to do are you really an administrator? Are you a just a developer to see Jenkins? Are you a fresher just to monitor what's going on in Jenkins? What level privileges do you have? That is what authorization that we need to configure now. Let me show you how to. I'm going to Jenkins manage Jenkins. I'm going to configure global security. Configure global security. It is taking a minute to open. Let's wait for it. By default team, if you see authentication, right here, security green, where exactly you are saving your usernames and passwords. By default, it is saving in Jenkins own user database. By default, your credentials are saving under where lib Jenkins folder in some configuration file. No, I don't want to do this. There are other options also. You can configure your uh, Linux user group. If you have Linux users, you can map that or no security at all. And LDAP. This is what we use at organizations team LDAP servers. I hope you heard of uh, Active Directory, Open LDAP, Lotus Domino, IBM TOLE directory server. Like this, there are many LDAP servers available in market. You can go to any LDAP server team. You can use any LDAP server. So the LDAP server details and all you give here common name, usernames, passwords, everything. In organizations, in organizations, usually you will have authentication identity and access management teams they take care of these things they give you all these details you can fill in and you can just test a connection that's what we do actually in organizations as i don't have ldap server here we are using jenkins own user database only and next authorization is very very important authentication is all about whether you are a correct user or not authorization is what you are allowed to do by default Anyone can do anything means no need to have username and password also everybody can do anything but no I don't want that by default if you observe here logged in users can do anything <laughs> logged in users can do anything means you logged in with your username password I logged in with my username password everybody can do anything that's why user one user two directly logged in and they see all the things no I don't want this this is the best way to go with team we call it as matrix based security where we add our users here I'm adding our users admin user one user two. I added these users here. Now, if you closely observe, there are set of 
privileges available on the top. Now you can assign those privileges. How to assign those privileges actually? That is what we are going to see now. How to assign those privileges actually? That is what we are going to see now. For admin team, I am giving complete permissions. See, for admin, I checked each and every box. For user one, I am giving overall read permissions. Overall read permissions I gave. And related to jobs, I just gave him read permission here also. For jobs also, I am giving read permission. And for viewing purpose also, read permission only I am giving. So overall read permission I am giving to user one. But for user two, I am giving overall read as well as for jobs. Okay, he can build the jobs, means he can run the jobs. That's it. He cannot create, he cannot configure, cannot move, he cannot do rest of the things. Only, only he can simply read the jobs and he can execute the jobs. That's it. We don't have, uh, you know, user, I mean to say, creation deletion options for this particular user too. Like this team, depending upon his role, suppose he is a developer, he wants to see your results, coverture results, code review results, and all. You can give him whatever the permissions we have in user one. So, like this team, you can give all the permissions for users. Save. It is taking some time. It's taking some time, team. Not sure why. Some issue with the host. Okay, some issue with this host team. That's the issue. Compute engine has detected suspicious activity. Please consult the project dashboard for more information. I know I faced this issue earlier as well team. So when we configure uh, users like this, when they try to access like this, it is showing this issue. This is expected issue. So don't worry. This is known issue only. Please leave it. I need to configure separate instance now. Let me delete this. It's of no use now because of uh, that username and password. It is showing this issue. That's okay. So that's how team you can log in with those users. You will see different different permissions for each and every user. So that's how you can configure security in Jenkins. Yeah, I'm see nowadays Google is showing these kind of exceptions even Amazon sometimes. So this is what it is team. This is how you can enable your own security in Jenkins.